Linear Mold and Engineering got started in additive manufacturing in early 2005. Customize parts, make things through additive manufacturing that they can't currently make. So additive is not a better way to make an existing part, it's a way to make an existing part better. Absolutely. We see Linear having to buy at least eight to ten more machines within the next year and a half to two years. I'm at Linear Mold and Engineering, one of the leading companies showing what's possible through additive manufacturing. Linear is a mold maker, but also something more. In addition to making parts by cutting metal on machine tools, Linear is also making parts by growing them in metal through additive manufacturing. Pete, when we say additive manufacturing, what are we talking about? Additive manufacturing is 3D printing. It is digital layer manufacturing. Parts are made in machines that fuse the metal one layer at a time making very complex geometries easy to produce. One of the applications for additive manufacturing is conformal cooling. What is that? Conformal cooling is the use of cooling channels that will actually follow the part surface or conform to its shape. The problem with the mold was in this particular insert is that we're unable to get um, cooling lines high up into a lot of the areas because of the detail on the insert that created a hot spot in this particular tool. So when we built the conformal cooled version of the insert, we grew the water lines in using the centering process, allowing us to get water closer to the part surfaces around the detail areas so that we had uniform cooling in that area. Linear mold and engineering's additive manufacturing capabilities include six EOS machines in-house, one SLM machine, and one M280 from EOS at a customer site. One of the big benefits is part consolidation. You have four or five parts that are independent parts manufactured and then brazed or welded together. The use of this technology allows them to grow as one piece that five part component. Brandy, why is this part a good candidate for additive manufacturing? This part is a great candidate for additive manufacturing because of the internal geometries. For this particular part, we had four parts on one build platform. Uh, these parts were made out of our aluminum material. They were grown at 50 micron layers, and um, they took about 55 hours for a total of four parts. With this component, because there was four separate parts on a plate, they actually had four different internal geometries. So you're able to print multiple iterations of a part that typically maybe you would have to design and then tool or cast and then kind of test it out and then redesign and tool and cast. So you can actually put multiple designs on a single build platform and test all of your designs at once. Is additive a replacement for machining? Additive manufacturing works parallel with machining. Um, these parts do not come out perfect right out of the machine, and in order for them to be production quality, you're going to need some finished machining afterwards to hit the tolerances and the surface finish requirements that are needed. The center of excellence concept is where Linear would take a machine, and we would put that in a customer's site at their facility. We would also provide an operator who would be working under their supervision, but working with our engineers back here in Livonia. A center of excellence includes equipment, talent, training, and then consulting, which provides best practices for making great parts. We've had clients that have bought machines. They're very, very smart people. They try to do this on their own. And it takes them 9 to 12 to 16 months to start making a good part. With a center of excellence that we put in on site, full capabilities, they're making parts in a day or two. It also allows them to customize parts, make things through additive manufacturing that they can't currently make any other way.